pre-tribulation, mid-tribulation, post-tribulation. I think we should uh, hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Ask the pastor. Does the rapture happen before or after the tribulation? The scripture lets us know, uh, while there may be different opinions and views of when it will happen, right? There are some, some questions about that. Uh, but when you look at 2 uh, Thessalonians chapter 2, uh, the Apostle Paul is, is writing about uh, the, the coming of Jesus Christ, the second coming. And it's interesting when you get to verse 7, I'm going to read a couple verses here. It says, for the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. Right. So that speaks to the, the Holy Spirit restraining right, the lawless one, right, the Antichrist. And once the spirit is removed, restrained, or allowing the Antichrist to come, then the tribulation will occur. Mm -hmm. So it is... Uh, my conviction that it will be the rapture first and then the tribulation. I believe there's a difference between tribulation and the great tribulation, which is yes. described in Revelation 7, 14. So I don't think that we should uh, feel entitled that we're not going to deal with any hardship. But on the same sense, too, I do not believe the wrath and the judgment of the wrath of God is reserved for his bride of Christ or his children. I, I don't see that. Um, if there is a such thing, I possibly stay within uh, pre and mid tribulation, somewhere in the middle of that. I think there's going to be hard times, trying times that come our way, the birth pains. But I also did a sermon years ago called the seven bowls of God's wrath. I don't see those heinous insane, intense seven bowls of God's wrath is going to be rained down on his children. Otherwise, why would Jesus die on the cross for our sins to be saved and forgiven just so that he can uh, condemn us with his wrath? I believe that wrath is reserved for those who are reprobate minds, for those who reject Christ. They reject the gospel. They're full of demons. There is a wrath for those, which is why we need to get it right um, while we can and I think no matter where you believe, uh, pre-tribulation, mid-tribulation, post-tribulation, I think all of us on the panel can agree that we should uh, hope for the best and prepare for the worst. In order to have a testimony, you have to go through a test. Amen. And so how do we know how good God is unless sometimes we experience bad things? Yes. You know, and so for me, it's kind of like, how are you looking at things? Is the glass half empty or is the glass half full? your outlook on life because we have to continue to keep focus on God and trust him and sometimes put ourselves out of the way. So for me, um, when we face those different challenges, I have to look at it like it's a test. Okay, God, what are you trying to bring out of me through this? You know, we all know that even diamonds are made from pressure being applied. And so sometimes God just wants to see what are we ready for? What can we handle? But we know that he is with us through it all. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. To see more like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Get all the latest content from TCT Ministries. We'd love to pray alongside you for God's blessings in your life. So you can email your prayer requests to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below and submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and thank you for watching.